Kia ora, uh, This is a quick video on how you might do a leaderboard or a list of items, like um, when you are playing a game with different tools and you might have a sword and you collect a sword and you also collect coins and collect money and you might want to keep a list of things that you've, you've got. Um, so in Scratch, if you want to remember a piece of information in the game, like time or points that we've got, remember we use an orange variable and that word then holds what the number is. Or what the information is. But if you actually want a list of information, you don't want to have to create an orange um, variable for every item on the list, you can create a list under the orange variables here. So it says make a list. So what I'm doing in this is with this game I've got points and time and I'm actually going to record a leaderboard. So I'm going to call my list the leaderboard. Okay. And what this does is, a bit like the orange variables, it gives me loads of leaderboard options. I can add things to the leaderboard, take things off the leaderboard, um, delete it all, and, and so, so on and so on. All right. So the first thing I want to do is work out when do I want my leaderboard. You can see here, uh, if I just make this slightly bigger for a second, here's my list, my leaderboard. It's empty at the moment. Okay. Um, right, so let's make this leaderboard work. Well, the first thing I want to do is work out when do I want the leaderboard to appear. I don't want it there at the beginning. So the first thing I'm going to do is hide it when the game starts. So I'm already now hiding the leaderboard at the beginning. And then I've got to work out that I want it to show when my game is over. So at the moment, my game is over when time is zero. So when I've, my countdown timer gets to zero, that's when the game ends. So what I'm actually going to do now is, again, break my program into little bits of code to make it easy. So under the events, I'm going to broadcast a message, and the message is going to be um, update leaderboard. That's what you want to do at the end of the game. Okay, I'm going to just take that off for now because I'm going to move that into the code because now I can have a separate section that just worries about updating the leaderboard. There you go. So now I only have to put worry about the code that will do that job. So the first thing it needs to do, because I've hidden it at the beginning of the game, is I need to show it. So at the bottom of the leaderboard code, I can do the show code there. So now it's going to show on the screen at the end of the game. Now, let me just show you how lists are coded to work. This is what computers need. They have a list all right, with all the current scores in. Okay, But what they need is they need an arrow, a pointer a thing that's pointing at what I'm current, which one I'm currently looking at. Because I need to be able to say, go to the first one, and then is that bigger, or is it what I'm looking for, or is that bigger, a bigger score, or a smaller score than what I've scored in the game. But I need this pointer, I need like a, 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 I need a, a pointer that, can have a, that will have a number, and it will say, right, start on slot one, now make the pointer two, now make the pointer three and it will know which slot to look for. Okay, so you, you need something, you need a variable that can change and, and work down the list. So what we do is we go up to the variables and we create a new variable just so we can number which one we want to look at. So this one is, I'm gonna call it um, the pointer. Okay, um, I'm gonna call it the list pointer actually. Let's call it the list pointer. It's just basically something to point it down the list. Click okay. So first of all, I need to make sure that the list pointer is start, begins right at the top of the list on zero. Okay, and then under the control, what I have to do is I've got to repeat the checking, the list check, until I get to the end of the list. So you can do a repeat until. Now here's the clever little bit of kind of logic that works out if it's at the bottom of the list. Okay. I will stop looking when the pointer, so I need an equals, and I, what it is, is when the list pointer number, so I'm going to make that number go up every time it loops, but when that number is actually equals, and down here again in the list code, I've actually got the length of the leaderboard. That's how many things are in the leaderboard, okay? but. What I've got a problem there is that if I need to add to the bottom of the list, 
I'm going to need to make sure it goes down one more to find an empty one at the bottom if, I, if I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard. So what I have to do is just move that out a second, go get some more green, and just say it's actually not the last thing on the list. I always need to make sure I do. I go to that one plus one more, and that will that will allow it to go to the empty slot at the end. So I hope that makes some sense. Repeat this little check until the pointer going down the list is gets to the length of the list plus one more. Okay. That's how, now this is fairly standard for how people check down lists. Um, so if your game wants to look if you've got the sword, then again, same code here. Keep going down the list and, and you're looking to compare what, whatever's at the list pointer with whether it says sword or not. But here we're doing, we're comparing their score. So do we add it to the list or not? Well, we throw in an if. It's going to stop the code there. We throw in an if, and now we're basically saying, Again, a bit more in equals, we're, we're making a comparison, and we're saying if the, per, the, the player's points that's ended the game, so when it ends of the game, are my points, actually it's not an equals, whoops, I love making mistakes in these videos, I'm going to put a greater than, because of course we're checking if the points are greater than somewhere on the list. So, if, if the points that I've scored are greater than... All right, and here we go. It's the item. It's the item, but not item one on the leaderboard because I need to make, keep it going all the way down the list when it's coded. So I actually now need to get my variable for my pointer to, to say that wherever it's pointing at the moment. So if the points, it's starting at zero, It's starting at zero and it's going to work down the list. But I need to make sure it goes up by one every time it checks. So I need to change the first thing I need to do in the loop, in in the in the loop here, is make sure I change the list pointer by one. So it goes to number one first. Then if the points is greater than that list pointer, that place on the list, in in slot one, then I need to actually insert my score. So that's insert my points, the points in the game, at, again, where we currently are, wherever the list pointer is right now. Now, this is getting a tiny bit complicated, but we're, we're nearly finished, all right? So if, when it goes to the first position, if I've actually got higher points than that, then it's going to put my points in at position one. Then it will re repeat around, and because it hasn't reached the end of the list yet, it will it will add one more to the pointer, so the pointer will now say two, and if my points are greater than position two on the list, it's going to put my points there. If not, it's going to go around, repeat, it will make the list pointer number three for slot three, and then it will check if my points are greater than slot three on the leaderboard, and so on and so on for however long the leaderboard is, because we don't know how long it's going to be, and it will end up putting my points in the correct position. The only thing I now need to do is I'm going to broadcast, because other things might end the game, but I'm going to broadcast the message, game over. Okay, that's where, once it's updated the leaderboard, then I want it to make sure it does game over and it stops all. Okay, and that is a leaderboard that will now keep up to date. It will record all of the points that different people score um, and we can see what the highest score is at the time. We don't need to see the list pointer on the game as you can see here, I don't need that. So I'm going to untick that so it's not on the screen. Um, and that, my leaderboard will disappear when I start playing. So I can press go and I can see what I can score. And after my five seconds allowance, my massive score of one is going to appear on the leaderboard. Kia ora, there you go, that's a leaderboard. Have a look and see if you can copy that code out and get it working. Have fun guys.